I'm Dr. Helen Cheresky. I'm a physicist and I'm very enthusiastic about the physics in the everyday world around us. And I've got something here that is a very practical problem that I have a lot. I'm always in a hurry. I walk around with cups of tea and I'm forever spilling cups of tea because I'm trying to go somewhere too quickly and the tea sloshes everywhere and ends up all over the floor and all over me. And there's a reason that it happens. It's a kind of weird physics coincidence. If we look at a cup of tea, um, if I push it a bit, the tea starts to slop. And the reason it does that is that I'm pushing the cup. The liquid isn't attached to the cup. So the liquid initially stays where it is and slops up against one side. And then it has to redress the balance so it slops back the other way. And you start off this oscillation with the tea slopping from one side to the other. So this is where the problem of the spilling tea starts. But what happens if I change the size of the cup? I haven't got a tiny cup here, but I have got a narrow glass full of water. And if I push this one, you can see the same process happens. The liquid gets left behind and then it has to rush back to the other side because it's out of balance and rush back again. But in the glass, that slopping process happens much, much more quickly. Whereas in this mug, it's happening much more slowly. And the reason that we spill tea, or I spill tea when I'm walking, is that it just so happens that the pace at which a human walks is very close to the, the slopping speed of the kind of cup we tend to carry. And if the walking speed and the cup sloshing speed were mismatched, you wouldn't spill nearly as much tea. It just turns out that the mugs we use, there's a match. So there's two possible solutions. You could either use a very small, narrow cup, you could start carrying around tea and glasses like this, and then it would slosh too quickly so that when you walked, it wouldn't start sloshing. Or you could walk around with tea in an enormous bucket and the sloshing rate would be too slow to be bothered by your footsteps. So neither of those are very practical. I don't want tiny cups of tea and I don't want great big buckets full of tea. It turns out that there is another solution apart from just slowing down, which is probably what I should do. And it's to start drinking cappuccino or hot chocolate or anything else that's got foam on the top. Because what happens when you have foam on the top and you push it is it almost doesn't move at all. And that's because the foam acts as a sort of barrier at the top, a damper, and it just stops the sloshing. Because in order to slosh the liquid underneath, you've got to move all that foam on top. And it's kind of stuck to the sides. It doesn't want to move. So if you have a drink that is covered in foam, it won't slosh nearly as much, and it'll be much harder to spill it as you're rushing down the corridor with it. So the sloshing isn't going to go away. You can use a tiny cup, a bucket, or some foam if you want to reduce the problem. But really, I should probably just slow down. Thank <laughs> you.